yesterday and my broth did its thing overnight it's ready and i think it's cold because i didn't put the pot on cold, on, on keep warm so did uh, something to do with the bottles that i'm going to be putting after you clean them with some soapy water make sure that you dip them in some hot water before you store anything i also have those ones the milk or juice because i want to store some milk so i am making good use of my christmas towel for sure because it is not meant for christmas yeah are you willing to keep your christmas stuff until the next christmas well that's you not me so transfer this this is like i think three liters or four and then before that uh i need to get the milk from the fridge and then boil it because it's raw milk and if you don't know you can keep raw milk in the fridge for like seven to ten days depending on the situation of your fridge and the hygiene that you put before you keep the milk so what i like doing is to boil it when i get it i don't get it all the time because we don't do milk all the time but when i get it when i need to i get it so four liters there yay most of the times i use like half a liter to cook with so you see that i put with the meal um uh, not milk the fat i don't care about that i also have some jars with um the marrow so for the days that i am making um food using the broth i use kidogo olive oil especially um when i'm making like maharagwe or lentils or the rest so i make use of the fat this will solidify on the top can decide to remove it or something but i have some um, tallow already in the jars for usage that i made purposefully uh, using the tallow fat so i will not be using that usually it can solidify what i do is i put like a spoon so when i'm doing the broth because i'm doing like half half I can uh, use one slice of uh, mafuta and then let the broth run. Remember, at the time of usage, it's usually thick. So, um, grateful for these, I'm setting them aside. As I wait for the milk to get ready, I want to make some breakfast. Oh, kombucha that has been brewing, kombucha starter. So, it is ready because I don't like it like super done. I put my empty kombucha bottles in the fridge so that they continue being okay to be used the next time so i'm going to refill these and keep uh, some of the kombucha there uh, maybe i'll put it in a, a jar after his or tattoo grateful i'm saving that so i need to work as some lead to preserve it the boots whatever i will still reuse it because recycle okay be good to the earth anyway save money anyway uh, this is the tea that i am using i get it from china center not china square okay china center along gong road so i should have uh, brewed it like candle but who has time for more dishes i'm putting hot water here this is the green tea starting to brew there I'll give it time to brew nicely, then nichunga. Meanwhile, let us check on the milk. Maziwa inendelea kuchemka. You let it chemka like completely. I had told you that some people boiled some milk. And I want to use this to make tea. To make tea because I don't take tea like every time. And right now, I'm going craving your tea. When making tea, I usually use uh, ginger na tea leaves. I pamoja for long and then I add maziwa, but do I care? I'm not going to empty this sufuria or use another. I'm adding the tea leaves here. Trust me, it tastes different. So like this tea will taste different 
then the one yenye nilikupatia recipe i was given by my uh lawyer friend yeah this a uh, mama called janet gave me that sheila say hi to mama so i've been using that recipe it is very good ali described by the way and cooking it i agreed it is much better tea tastes better and everything but see now your time add sugar here and majani chai let it boil for a few minutes and we have tea meanwhile i'll show you what i'll be eating with the tea Okay um milk bado itaki kuchemka we are still waiting and my tea in a skiza skiza patience for breakfast i'm doing some spinach also easy spinach you know we have to do some salad there's no reset prep without some healthy stuff in the fridge for grab so i will bakisha those I'll be doing some um, salad, so clean this nicely. Let it temka kabisa, like iishe yoki here here, and then you know your milk is easy for storage. The next seven ten days it will be perfecto. Tea is boiling. I will let it boil pole pole for long. Obviously, fighting the kihere here. here. So, I, my spinach here, nimezi reduce kidogo because they are a little bit uh, plus size. <laughs> so, onion powder, some salt and chili flakes. I add the mayai in here and koroga everything together. Then put kopan. My one slice of bread, them definitely this is not to mean that I eat one slice, at least two for the huge sliced breads. Uh, but crude here, ilibakisha moja, because bread here is eaten for days. So I have that. That will be enough. A quick reminder for you, if you want to lose weight, the mayai and the spinach is enough and tastes so good. You can also do some cheese. I want to make lunch, something that you don't always see in cook. You don't even know whether you have ever seen someone cook something like this. A little bit bacon. So I will be cooking one of my favorite foods. Okay. So bacon never out and five to a car bowl. I also like cooking this with um okay i didn't show you what i'm cooking and it is bacon and corn i also like cooking corn like that na fresh kundes from the farm so um this is not a everybody's meal you guys will be eating chapul i didn't make those so i kind of like not eating them uh not because someone made them but because i don't feel like chapul Leftovers from yesterday. So see you when we are going to where we are going <laughs> i've had this watch for over five years and i can count the times i've worn it i think i have another watch that also needs to be used so i'm wearing a watch today 
Also, I have a bag that if I were to lose any other bag in my collection, then this big girl would stay. So I will put my wallet, which I almost forget every time. And then um, I will also put this inside because you never know mothers or women. You need to carry stuff. So put this inside if I need to use it. If you are wondering what I'm wearing, I have some gym wear because that is me and these shoes. I hope you can hear me recording with the uh, front camera on my phone and most probably I look like a monkey but it's okay. Ready for takeoff? Yeah, Komatatu stage. We also take off Komatatu stage. I'm headed for Sarit. Nikona coffee I pick at Monty's. And then something else that I need to do there briefly. Nepiti um, Naivas Mountain Mall. Check on a few things. And then I also check on Kafo. Uh, and then come back home. So I'll show you what I get from there. Definitely if something is selling in a way that I know it is going to save me a cent. Then I'm, I'm in. So let's go. Don't you friends miss matatus because you are so fancy you don't get into matatus. How do you live by the way? How is that? Because I like the vibe of matatus at times. Especially the fancy like matatus. You know the ones that you... Anyway, that is irrelevant. I digress. So let us go to Sarit. I won't record anything along the road. But definitely a clip about something in Sarit. Yay. My watch. I feel like I am finally a adult, you know, doing things that adults do, like wearing a watch. Let's go. Yoko was silly. I'm walking. Yeah, because at times, at times, just use your legs as you know, you leave your Lexus at home and just walk. Because that's how you know. Yeah, that's how you know why it's important to let people cross the road when you're driving your Lexus. And just let them be. See, kuna ngana na na pedestrians and you're not allowed to cross. Kuna nyesha, kuna jaribu kwa squeeze squeeze afu. Unless you are born being chauffeured around, because zaka kaju ana, it's not fun. But if you've had that life where you lived of Matatu, like you travel, you used Matatu to go to school or go to work and you got a car, don't forget. Don't forget that life. Turn the subject. I wasn't coming here to buy flowers, so deeper sugar, Rachel, deeper sugar. Someone tell me why Sarit has no lights. Kijaribu lift, Shauriako, stairs. Okay. I'm now not sure about this. Daughter turned her mountain. Giza, Giza, Giza. Please help me not to get anything I don't want. I want, but I don't have the money.
Like the whole place is these I'm pack. I didn't get a receipt from Monty's, but gladly they were able to send me the copy. So I thought to help you watch the have. Nikona coffee up and as Japawa received Monty's, some of the print, Nitayata up in Ataka Kongala something here. Ataku Kichukoki to a Zai, Abuna Kuna Queen, and the summer power. Oh, my God. Imekoivo to Kasubu. Imekoivo to Kambas Bui to Kisumbua. At him is more almost one hour from Satan Sasita. Guy, I think you see the name from the management. I wanted the milk, so let me talk to them on a camera as a museum because nothing is being sold. I can't get a receipt. So the drawers are not opening, it's a whole situation. But if they agree to give me the milk, then I'll be good. Because now I, I can't wait, Mpaka. You know, it's power, no one knows Tarudi Sangha. But now I can't buy another thing. If I can get the milk and just go, you know. Uta uta ni chukuli anataka case moja ni ija open. Eh. Case moja zina kwanza eight. Eni eh zote tu hizo tu. Sa. Oh, do what always you tell that price you have to guy? Price. This is because I want to pay. Na apa? Apa? It's too complicated. Eh? Still nothing. Not yet. Oh, we're going to have to go to the gym. Eh? Guy. That's the price. Price. So, Mama, this is the price. You always use that. Yeah. 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 As I turn in the home, Rosa, this rate is boring. No lights, can't keep on waiting. Bad luck for me, but good luck all together. You saw what happened in the whole of Sarit, no electricity. Uh, the Indian shop at Monty's managed to give me coffee. They were not actually selling because the drawers were not opening like you had from Healthy You. So they could not return change. Goodness happened. Indian shops, of course, because someone gave me change uh, from their pockets because I bought this latte. Uh, and that is actually one of the major things that made me go there. Also, I was delivering a bag, my um, one of my own bags, because someone wanted to buy it, and I have no problem with that. I have used it to the D word, and I can always get another. The good thing about the vintage uh, classic bags is you can always sell them. I keep on telling you that. Last time I got the Americano, Lasha wasn't a bad idea today and i have seen that they have the starbucks latte and mocha and those other things so when i was buying the americano i told myself that the next time i go there this is like months later i bought that coffee when i bought the thrifted dolce gasto uh, coffee maker so i told myself i was to buy this because when i go to coffee shops if i don't buy that whatever i buy latte so latte here we go a situation at healthy you again they were not selling but i had to talk to someone you you had me negotiate with the guy because the soldiers were not even allowing people to get in uh, there's no way i could have left this maziwa for 99 bob okay the, there is a sell by date yeah april or no feb or is it january but you care because i don't this is good maziwa. That is just sell by date. This is not uh, messed up maziwa. This is actually good maziwa. And you know what? Uh, unlike the other um, almond milk without sugar, this is so toasted. So for the roasted, well, I lied, not toasted, but roasted, it tastes different. So it has a taste. At least it doesn't taste like <laughs> something I was about to mention. So got easy maziwas bake with these add in my latte just a little bit and do another thing one 
uh, maziwa for 99 well that's 100 what else you need apart from grabbing as many as you picked Bayani with my legs as i could not have carried more actually i would have went for like two cases or something but this is enough because again it is not used like every time so we put this aside i'll squeeze it somewhere no break we are not breaking today we are not resting it is that time of the day of, of the week or whatever that you just have to do a lot of things at once and that is my sunday today so i have this bacon that i want to make some salad with so i will be making a very simple salad my week is complete if i start off with some salad all right so i will be making some spinach bacon apple and corn salad well you're not sure how that tastes i promise you taste so good so chunk this up and then is your kwa moto i clean that and then the next is kuingisha nisha kila kitu you know the good thing about salads easy peasy um corn rinsed and then slice these apples the milk is ready for emptying kwa um, is ready kuwekwa kwa chupa I forgot to add salt. That is the only shenanigan missing. So this is done. I set this aside and work on some pastry because before the week starts, you need something to take with your coffees, to take with nothing else. This is all mine, so don't worry. I'll use this as a spoon. But Mm. You saw how the viazis were. I gave some kiddos work and that is the best they could. So some salt. Uh, I had some melted butter nikipika something else and then i'll do time we as in a time taste so good and then i'll dump the chicken on top and roast the shenanigans do i need to put anything else maybe i'll put kidogo lemon pepper kwa viazi thing is and then you know our chicken no. That has been marinating everywhere. This is a chicken situation from Buzi 24. Uh, legs juicy, definitely was marinating in some sauces. Mulisa Mamwanzi Biashara chicken thighs, the free range chicken. So it's yeah won't kill for a day let's put this remaining saucy saucy there and take this to the oven This is uh, the remaining milk after Nimeka Maziwa Kwa Chupa. So I want to make some pastry. In real baking and everything pastry, you start with the grain, not green, the dry ingredients first to Naziweka. 
but I am still minimizing on the viombo that I'll need to use so I'll be dealing with this and the plan is to put sugar there cocoa powder cocoa powder there I have this corn flour that needs to be used I also have my Kentaste coconut flour and I want to put some of live well clearance here LPU year last year more maziwa it will be protein full and I also do some kidogo oats for that fiber and mix something and some lemon I don't know how that will taste but we will find out this is a style of cooking that works if you have a big family <laughs> not the process but like whatever that i'm thinking to do is this I'll, I'll get some zest and add here i added some bake, baking powder and bicarbonate of soda so i have this is how coconut um, flour looks like i have corn like i had put i have milk powder here a coconut i have lemon have milk and i have kawaida flour because of that kushkana so let's mix this it definitely needs some mafuta so i will uh, like uh, do something with the butter melt it that is what i mean i also scrap piece of it was ikoku candle that is cream your milk and add it there Mm, it's smelling so nice. Actually, we melt butter and then we do that. That is our shenanigan starting to cook. And I'm tired. If I tell you I'm tired, I'm tired. And I've realized that I did brunch slice moja mkate. Wasn't enough. So I'm super hungry. And I need to move on with another video called storing whatever that I made. Problem is my fridge is nasty. So I have no option. I will have to continue this, but you will see the rest of this. I will show you how this turns out to be. Tasted it without the mayai and butter, and it was good. The texture and everything can't wait. So see you in the next one. Catch you up in the next as we clean my nasty fridge and put the crap that we made. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Rachel. In case you forgot, I'll see you in my next one. Remember Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, 1 p.m. local time. Sometimes later in the day. Quiet.